Yes, my name is Maxford Nicky. I'm originally from South Wales. Actually, a cousin to the Prime Minister, but I'm living in Australia for the past 20 years. So I'm, I'm here on this shop for as long as I know myself. Even my kids, the oldest one here, the boy here who is 13, one in the middle, his name is Kemak. I have a daughter, 22, seeing up here at the moment. And I run a cook shop here, a little idol shop. I run around here. You can see the place is small, but it's clean. Um, and you I get was, many customers? Yes, I have a, a, a good pair of people. My food sell off all the time. Food is nice. <laughs> so, right. how, when, is, when, when is your opening hours? Opening hours is from, say, 9, nine o'clock to 6 o'clock. But I don't be here in the night. Mm -hmm. I don't be here in the night. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I was here for, as long as I know, and it's really here. These shops are here for almost 20 something years. Yeah. <laughs> and my children go to school from this. Uh, came actually in um, secondary school, Emmanuel High School, that's where he's in uh, Belmont and Matthew. Uh, yes, I was in the interview here. And did you get a letter recently? We have a letter, we, yes, a letter uh, the 14th, I think. Check me in there, eh? When did the people come to see you? Well, then they, they, they came. They came the morning, and they started. They started measuring up the place, which I think was planning. Mm. That was in the morning, and by the in the evening we got we got a letter saying so we had to move in seven days. Which morning was this? The fourteenth. The fourteenth. So you didn't hear about it before that? No. It's, uh, the 14th, yes, the 14th of September, which was, yes, a Tuesday. And how did that make you feel? I can't express how it makes me feel because I support the, the current government, I support them for years. I get beat down here many times because I support the, this current administration. But I don't have a problem to, to move. But you can't move, tell us to move in seven days. As I don't stand in the way of progress. So I don't have a problem. You they say the school gonna open on the fourth. They need here to while do the road. But you have a big man who will separate us from over here. You have people going down to the park. Separate separate us from here. So why you come and just beating them on us like that? And seven and notice. My children go to school from here. I pay my rent from here. Because I will tell you from South of us, it's rent I rented. I came down and married down here. Right? So it is, it is preposterous to, to just give us seven days notice. And did it, it didn't say in the letter that they have anywhere for you all to move to, right? No, no. They say it is going to Parliament and maybe. Right? But what I'm saying too, if you go to, if you gain some, some, someone notice to, to vacate the premises and it, it, is, it says government premises, but we're paying tax. We're paying tax for here. So if you give somebody notice to vacate, how, how come you saying that you'll send it to Kamehameha to, to, uh, to approve if maybe we, we, we will get um, somewhere to go? Mm -hmm. We went back to them, we talked to Keith Francis. He said in the meantime, we must look to somewhere for go. And that's in the meantime, to look to somewhere to go. So did they say what will happen when, when seven days is over? No, they did not say. They will say vac Remove your structure and vacate the premises, which is a gross insult when you say vacate the premises. Like you live in a rent house with, with somebody that they have to give you three months notice more, most of the time to leave. So you give us seven days, you're paying tax and give us seven days to leave. I don't think that is that is the right approach at this time and in COVID time. Right? Maybe you might want to lock down soon, who knows? So what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do in the meantime? At, 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 at work and on a structure. Where are we going to go? Where are you going to take a light out? You light out everything at your move. We have nowhere to go. And they're not, they're not giving you any funds in, in replacement or anything like that? No funds in replacement. And I'm going to tell you something as I'm at the, uh, you hear. Uh, I'm writing for, for, for the, the, prime, the, prime, the prime grant was taking place some couple of years ago before the election. I was called two times. Say so it went to cabinet and approved. I never got it. 
I never got a thing since I doing this business. From from this from this government. Nothing. So it's seven days. We we we, we all we, we there's a group of people. We we all stand on the same thing. We're not standing in the way of progress. Right? If we have to move, we have to move. We need adequate time to move yeah. and we need somewhere to locate. Mm -hmm. And you can't cross in Fenton Mountain because it's a business you're running. You don't build up a clientele already. You have a little customers. As I tell you, the place is small. Mm -hmm. But I my people who come here every day for food. Some of them don't even get food. Because mm -hmm. even though it's my pot are small also. Mm -hmm. I just roll the thing, I just turn it over. Mm -hmm. If I finish cooking, if I'm not a food, I cook again. But I have my children to support. And this is your, your sole income, right? Hello? This is your sole income? This is your only income? Yes, please. Okay.